initially when we first, I guess, talked about this, she was going to do the intros just because I'm, I'm a little self-conscious talking. But you're doing such a great mic. job right now. Yeah, it's just, I just, I don't know. It's not the same. Like, I just feel that we, when we initially got the idea to do this, mm -hmm. it wasn't because we were necessarily targeting an audience. It wasn't like we were trying to fit a certain profile, a certain personality. Yeah, we just wanted Salud. to um, document and share our conversations. Yeah, because we do, I, I feel like we do such a great job of communicating. And I don't know about you, but for the most part, anytime that we have a conversation... I feel like I grow from it. It's, I don't know if it's like a connection thing or if it's like maybe something that I learned about you that I didn't know or just some type of positive reinforcement that, and I'm fixing to go cheesy guys and I apologize, <laughs> that you are my person. Mm. You know, because I know we were, you know, when, we people, when people were asking us, how are we going to do this podcast? Like, what, what are, what's going to be our topic? Yeah. Well, we were coming up with a lot of different names. Yeah. And we didn't want to make it sound like it was, like, couple-oriented. Right. Even though primarily for the foreseeable future, it's going to be primarily us talking. But we're also going to have other people as guests. Right. That might have interest that you might not have or that i might not have right and in some of those episodes i might not be on the podcast i might be behind the scenes like doing other stuff mm -hmm. and vice versa mm -hmm. so we didn't really want to center it on like a couple's topic right it was more of us just talking talking shit like just talking about just everything what's going on now what's going on in the past what we think about the future not just in like relationship couple stuff like that's not the focus of this podcast for me i don't necessarily know if we're going to monetize it i don't know yeah because that's not necessarily the reason why we're doing this or let me scratch that that's not the reason why we're doing this now if people want to sit here and pay us for us to do an ad up about their product i mean we Send fucking your product yeah i mean we'll be stupid not to <laughs> i mean we'll be dumb not to there's there's plenty of products that i'm that i'm i'm all about it you know and but at the same time it's not geared for that it's something that we we did some research on and quite frankly we were looking into doing it like next year yeah but i mean we're still in a pandemic even though here in texas it's i guess would you classify it as being it towards the end of the phase i mean definitely not Definitely yeah, not. that's definitely here in Texas, definitely up for a pin, you know, up for debate. You know, you got certain people that say it is. Some people say it don't. Some people think that needs to be, you know, the state should wait to get closed. I mean, to stay closed. Others say, F that, let's go ahead and, you know, open up the state. And the, the bottom line is, yeah. because I, I, quite frankly, in my ignorance, didn't know. I'm not going to say it's, it's been easy because it hasn't. I haven't slept good because I'm always constantly thinking well, what if the microphones don't work? Or what if these things, what if it, names and video and audio and recording and then trying to figure out what platform we're going to use and, and what service we're going to use to basically upload the podcast to. So it was definitely a lot of stress. Right. But what does that have to do with us waiting until now versus a year from now? Well, it's almost like. Because I feel like initially like you probably had the like idea that i was gonna have more time a year from now or we both weren't gonna have more time but it just turns out i have more time now yeah and that's that's kind of what i was trying to get at is you know i, I began doing some research and even though it's have it's had it has its challenges it's not that hard and it was just a matter of like sitting down and actually doing the research and also with every negative thing comes a positive and prior to the prior to this whole covid thing 
like you and I would have to schedule like our our time to talk. Literally. Our we, dates. Yeah. We would literally have to like schedule it like a few days ahead. Yeah. Time. And like figure out each other's schedules. I feel like I knew your schedule more like I was more focused on your schedule better when there wasn't a pandemic happening because of that reason because I had to remember when we both had free time to like sit down right. and talk and or sit down and watch a movie or sit down and cook a meal together or not sit down but you know what I mean like right. spend time together um because our time was so packed like all the time like every week something was going on we had the same rigid boom 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 yeah and going back to i mean obviously it's been unfortunate because some people alive lost their lives um throughout this but again not to make light of that situation or or make light of the losses that people have suffered um you try to make positive out of something negative and one of the positives that i personally feel is you're here now like every day for the most part yeah and and i mean i was here every day but like i was only here to basically recharge my batteries right. basically and you're here as far as like i mean all of your online classes you're doing them obviously via zoom or blackboard um so there's that. I mean, you work on the weekends. All my, my other meetings yeah, for internship were online right. now. Exactly. So you're, you're, the amount of time that you spent away from here with such a busy schedule, mm -hmm. like it, went, it, it basically allowed us to basically communicate more and not necessarily have to sit here and open up our planners and be like, okay, well, what day is, works for you? What day works for me? We didn't have to have a conversation anymore. And and for me, I found, I like that. I like the fact that you were here. Mm -hmm. I like the fact that we didn't have to sit here and make all these arrangements just to spend an evening together. You're like, what a perfect time to sit here and, and literally fast forward this project and do it now. Yeah, and I think what like propelled you to really like gun-ho and start it now was because like since we were having so much time together during this pandemic we were talking a lot more like we were having way more conversations even when like we had people over they would be involved in the conversation yeah. and then you know you're just like why don't we just do it now yeah like when your cousin <laughs> came over yeah and we had a three-hour conversation about what she was going through I mean, yeah. yeah, there was a little bit of alcohol involved in that, but it wasn't to the point where we were shit faced <laughs> and we weren't able to make any sense. Yeah, but we lost track of time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and we literally did it on we literally did it an official podcast because all we did was give our personal feedback, yeah. our you know, and which included history of well, not history, more of an explanation of our previous experiences, mm -hmm. and help her going through whatever she was going through, and it it, it was damn near artistic 